while we're talking about being ahead of things, one thing that comes to mind is, is the K-2 uh, situation that's kind of developing across the country and right here in Allen County. Uh, what are your feelings about K-2? Should it, should it be banned or regulated? Or K-2, K-2 should be banned, it absolutely should be banned. There's nothing good that can come of that. Um, early on in this campaign, my daughter has said something to me about K-2 um, and I should jump on the bandwagon and, and, and make this an issue with my campaign. Um, I didn't do that. I didn't. It, back then, it really wasn't that big a deal. Now, uh, Sheila Campbell is, is working that. Sheila Curry Campbell is working that. I'm helping her. I'm supporting her efforts, um, but I'm not taking a forefront on that. She's doing it. I don't want to jump in and, and be a Johnny come lately. Uh, who looks like this is all political because I'm up for election. And, that, and that's the same thing with, with all the other things that I'm involved in. I don't go around to different groups trying to, to put my arm around them saying, I believe in what you're doing. Um, people know what I have done for the community. They know what, uh, what community involvement I have. And I'm not going to, just because it's an election year, go out and, 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 and jump on the bandwagon of every group um, and, and have take a picture with them and have it put on Facebook. How important is it, do you think, to reach our youth and, and to kind of nip it in the bud, so to speak? Reaching the youth is very important. Um, it is, uh, I have seen so many pre-sentence reports of people that I'm sentencing where they come from a broken home um, and, and don't have an education. That is a critical factor. Those, those kids don't have any uh, rudder, so to speak, in knowing to do what the right thing is, so they hook up with the guys, the, the, the kids in the street, and then they do bad things. Um, I've always been a supporter of those programs uh, that help with kids, uh, particularly the Union Baptist Church. They have a program there uh, to help mentor kids. I've been a supporter of that and Reverend, uh, Reverend Hunter. Um, it's important, but it's not the be-all and end-all. That is not the uh, magic wand that we have for, for uh, crime prevention. There are a lot of other factors other than that. And I think, too, that if, you know, if I were, you know, my role as a, as a judge, I have limitations on what I can and can't do. I can't get involved in a lot of different organizations because the Code of Judicial, Eth Judicial Ethics prevents me from doing that. Um, if, I were, if, if, if I believed that the way to deal with this issue was such, and I firmly believe that dealing with kids and mentoring those kids uh, would solve our, our, our problem, I'd be running for uh, Charlie, Judge Charlie Pratt's job. He has the, the power over these kids. I don't. I only get them once they've committed a crime, and I can only deal with them according to what the law is. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about, are you seeing an influx of gang activity, um, more violent crimes in Fort Wayne? Are, are you seeing that influx, that increase? I don't believe that the gang activity that we have here is increasing. It was 10 years ago, 10 to 15 years ago, it was huge. Um, gangs and drugs and crime. Um, there was an indictment, uh, indictments of uh, several uh, uh, 10, 12, 15 uh, gang members. Unfortunately, those got thrown out because the prosecuting attorney made a mistake. Um, it is not as bad as it was then. Crime in our community has been level for 20 years. Um, in fact, it's according to what the chief of police told me, it's as low the lowest in, in Fort Wayne that it's been in I think 25 years is what he told me. Um, so I, you know, I think some of the stuff that we have done has helped that. Certainly, um, the, the police have a good impact and the prosecutor in arresting and charging people, but it's not on the upswing and we are looking at other ways to deal with uh, with these people that are in the system that you might hear more of in the next few weeks. Your Honor, we appreciate your time today and, and uh, we wish you the best of luck with your campaign. 
uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to share my views with you, and uh, I hope that those people who are watching uh, will seriously consider me in, on November 2nd on the nonpartisan ballot all the way down at the bottom of the ballot, and I think my name will probably be the last name on the ballot, so remember that, please.